Embron Lambaster 130 glove box. Here's our operator panel here, interface. And you can see that we're at uh, less than one parts per million of oxygen, I mean of uh, water vapor and uh, less than 0 0.1 on oxygen. We have our pressure set at uh, 0 0.1. Just to show you how to set the pressure, you hit this screen here. And then you have your upper and lower limits. Let me just increase that. I'll change this to five millibar and then minus five for lower. So that's our range that the box can go through. Well, I, I was set to six, but uh, you know, let me change this. I'm going to set this to a one and keep it on positive because what I'm going to do is vent the uh, large antechamber. So I hit end. So this little box here on the side here, that's to uh, control your large antechamber. And what I'll do here is a refill. If you look at the gauge here, you can see that it was that vacuum at minus 30 inches. And what, what it's doing is bringing the gas from inside the glove box into the antechamber to bring it up to atmospheric pressure. While we're here, I, I just want to show you too, while we're waiting for that, we'll just end this, it'll continue on. Is we have a freezer, the temperature's set at uh, minus 35 right now. And here, here's where you would set your freezer temperature. So your compressor is down here for your freezer, and this is your freezer, I'll just open that up and fill it. You have a few shelves in there. And it will go down to minus 35 Celsius. Okay, let's look at the large anti camera now. See, we're at uh, atmospheric pressure by using that gauge here. But what I want to do before I get into that is let me. Wrong thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close the uh, refill valve. You can see it's still open to the screen. Shut that off. And then we'll open our door. You have a sliding shelf that you can place your work on. So what you do is you place your work on the shelf, close it up. Send it back on the screen here. This is all manual, so what you, it's recommended that you do three cycles of vacuum refills before you uh, bring the work in. So let's do an evacuate on here. Now it uses our vacuum pump to evacuate the uh, antechambers. You can see by the gauge here that it is pulling vacuum on the antechamber. Like I said, it's recommended that you do three cycles. And while we're here too, we also have our uh, smaller antechamber chamber, and it's uh, controlled by this valve here. <coughs> you can see by the uh, sticker on top here, this will refill it. It is at atmospheric pressure now, and this will evacuate. 
again, it's very similar to the large, except it's a smaller chamber, and you control it manually with the, uh, the ball valve here. To bring it back up this way. All right, let's go around the back, and I'll explain a few things on the uh, purification and uh, recirculator that's in the back. Okay, one of the first things to point out, this is the oxygen sensor here. It's in line. The flow of the gas is out the box over there from the right to the left here. It gets pulled into the purifier, which is here. That media has been replaced, so it's fresh. I've done two regen generations on it. We have a circulator here. This is what's pushing the air through the system. We got a... Uh, Heat, heat is generated through this circulator here, so we do a heat transfer here. We have our house cooling lines coming in, set at 20 Celsius. Right here is our uh, pressure sensor. And then we have valves in the back to control all the uh, necessary gas and vacuum uh, cycles. We do have a regeneration line coming in, which is using a forming gas. is 5% hydrogen mixed with nitrogen. And we have our, our inert gases, which is uh, used is nitrogen. We're using nitrogen here as our, our inert gas. It's also used to open the uh, your valves here. We have our two valves that are used to open, in, open up to the uh, purification system. This is our quick purge valve here. And, yeah. yeah. We have our oxygen sensors placed right here. Okay, so we evacuated our uh, antechamber once, and what I'll do now is I'll shut the evac off, expose the vacuum valve to the antechamber, and I'll do a refill. Okay, we'll come back in a little while once this has refilled atmospheric pressure. Okay, we're at atmospheric pressure right now. It stopped refilling, so I'll close the refill valve. I'll hit end. And you can see, just to take note, our freezer, it, the compressor turned off because we're at minus 36 right now. And so what I'll do is I'll open the uh, inner door. Like I said, it's recommended to do three cycles. I'm only going to do one here for uh, time purposes. To save a little time. And then what you do is you open this door here by turning this lever. Lifting up, the door will stay up because it's on a gas spring and you can slide yourself out. And at this point, you can bring your work into the system. And then close it up. Go down on it. Too. You notice we don't see any change on our sensors here right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change our range here, our lower range, to a, a negative number. Let's go to minus 12. And just to show you, you do have your foot pedals here. This will add gas to the system, bring up the pressure, and this will evacuate. So looking at your, uh, your pressure indicator up here, we, we're, we're dropping. It's, uh, we're at zero millibar right now. We're going negative. And you can see that the gloves are being pulled in. So we'll bring this down to minus 12 millibar. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through the uh, smaller antechamber here. I'll put the valve into the refill mode. The 
what I'm going to do is introduce a little uh, of our atmosphere into the box so that we can see that the sensors are working. Oh, by the way, here too, we, we do have a little shelf in here for our mini any chamber. Okay, let's look at see if we got any increase yet. So the box is at negative pressure and we're pulling air into this little valve here into the box. So we'll see an increase here soon. We're starting to get an indication on the water vapor. I'm going to put a little gas in by using our foot pedal on the right side. Bring the pressure up a little bit. Okay, while this is increasing, let's uh, just operate the uh, small antechamber real quick. This will evacuate it. You can see the valve is being pulled down. If you want to leave it static, you just put it in the middle. You see, you need a vacuum or refill. And if you want to refill it, you go to your right. Once you're vacuum, once you're off, once you refill. Okay, looking back up at our gauge here, you can see that, that by me allowing the atmosphere into the box that we are getting readings on our, both our oxygen and our, our water vapor. Okay, we'll come back when this peaks out and then we'll show you that it does, it will clean it up by using the pure bar. Okay, you can see that the, ox, uh, the water vapor is starting to come down. And the oxygen is still rising. But this does show that the, uh, the gauges are working, the sensors are working. And what we'll do is we'll come back in uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and we'll show that they're both cleaned up less than one part per minute. Okay, I just want to show you a few of the other screens here and common parameters. All this will be explained in the manual that you receive. Take freezer, box cooling, that's how you can get to your freezer temperature. Let's go to function cell here. If you need to do a regen, what you would have to do is shut off your circulator, and then at that point you can hit regen, and it'll start your regeneration. And while we're here, let's do a quick purge too. With the uh, circulator Disconnected from the system, what as soon as purging the entire box with nitrogen, it's just bringing nitrogen in and letting it out that purge valve in the back. And some other functions here, you can turn your freezer on and off here. Your light to your glove box, you can see the light went out. You can control your vacuum pump. And you can also control the analyzer, which will shut that off. We'll see that these numbers go off. Let's turn that back on. Let's turn the pump on. Light back on. The freezer is on. And your circulator is on. This is normal operation for the system. And you can do your uh, anti chamber uh, evacuate and refill here with the evacuator. And you can see the vacuum coming down in the air chamber. So there's more than one way to get to uh, certain screens here. So like I said, we'll come back in a little while and we'll see that the oxygen cleans up. You can see the uh, water vapor is dropping down now. I can see that the uh, oxygen has now dropped down to 0 0.6 and the water is at 0 0.9. 